Suddenly, the two friends heard a noise in the kitchen. Sylvia and George ran to the room. They could not believe their eyes. Hello everyone and welcome to today's English reading practice. It's Tuesday, the 15th of August, 2023. And I'm thrilled to have you all here with me for this session. We'll be diving into a new fascinating story by Oli Richards called A Very Unusual Excursion. Esta es una nueva manière de lernen, apprendre, apprendere, languages, en cuanto disfruta, accents, alphabet, culturen, sonidos, regole gramaticales. Quickly and easily. Alors, bon travail. Et bienvenue à Lingusta. Chapter 1. The Creature Lake of Water. It's in the northwest of England. It's in a well-known area called the Lake District. It is a popular place for families to visit. People often go there to take photos. They also go to enjoy nature in the summer season. The Lake District is a region with very mild weather. It's often cloudy and summers aren't very hot. Because of this, hikers love Lake Ulls water. Sylvia is one of these hikers. She lives near Lake Ulls water. She loves nature and she loves hiking. She often goes hiking in June and July. The weather is warm, but not too hot. Every weekend, she puts her things in a backpack and hikes in the woods near the lake. Sylvia's good friend George likes hiking too. He often goes with Sylvia. Last week, they decided to go for a hike near Lake Ulls Water. But in the end, it became a very unusual excursion. Sylvia and George met at the start of the walk. Hi, Sylvia, George shouted from far away. Hello, George, answered Sylvia. I'll be right there, shouted George. He ran towards Sylvia. George, slow down, you'll get tired. Don't worry, I brought energy drinks for the hike, said George. He pointed to his large backpack and laughed. The two friends were very happy to see each other. They talked a little, then they started their excursion. After a few miles, the path changed. It split into two paths. Which direction should we go? asked Sylvia. To the left or to the right? Let's go left, replied George. Well, um, I think I'd prefer to go right. Why? Sylvia looked at the woods near the left path. Then she answered, There are stories about that path. Some people saw a big hairy creature there. Really? Do you believe those stories? Um, I don't know. I guess we could go that way, said Sylvia. She looked worried. Come on, Sylvia, let's try it, George encouraged her. Sylvia gave him a worried look. Then they walked down the left path. An hour later, George and Sylvia were still on the path. There were trees all around them. It was late afternoon. Sylvia asked George, Do you think there are strange creatures in these woods? I don't think so. Why not? Well, I've never seen a strange creature, have you? Not in these woods. Right, so that means we're safe. Sylvia laughed. I guess so. They continued their hike. Several miles later, the two friends were still walking. The sun was low in the sky. Suddenly, they walked out of the woods. In front of them was the lake. George and Sylvia looked around. 
Near the lake was a house. The house was made of wood and it looked very old. Look, George, called Sylvia. Look over there. Where? replied George. There. There's a house. It's made of wood. Oh, I can see it. Let's go and have a look. What? But what if someone's there? Don't be scared, Sylvia. I'm sure no one will be there. The two friends walked towards the house. Before they went in, they looked around the place. The house looks like it was built a long time ago, said Sylvia. Look at the state of the windows. The glass is very old, and the wood is really old too. Yes, replied George. I'd say that it's at least 50 years old. But I wouldn't say it's ugly. There's something that I like about it. George looked around. Suddenly he called. Hey, Sylvia, come here. Near the lake, there was a small boat. It was old and made of wood. It was standing in the water near the shore. George looked at Sylvia. Let's get in it. Are you kidding? replied Sylvia. Why? We can go to the middle of the lake. I don't know. Come on, let's go. It'll be fun. Okay, said Sylvia. She didn't sound happy. Sylvia and George got into the boat with their backpacks. They slowly rowed to the middle of the lake. Sylvia looked around. It's so nice here, she commented. Yes, I know. There are lots of trees, and we can still see the sun perfectly. I'm so happy we came out here. Let's have something to eat. Do you want something? Of course. What do you have? Sylvia took several cookies and sandwiches out of her backpack. George took out the energy drinks. What do you want? The sandwiches look good. Sure, help yourself. Thank you, Sylvia. The two friends ate their sandwiches in the middle of the lake. Suddenly, they heard a noise. Did you hear that? George said. Yes, I did, Sylvia replied. She sounded scared. I think it's coming from the house. So do I. Let's go and look. Sylvia looked at George in surprise. Seriously, she said. Yes, come on. George and Sylvia rowed back to shore. They put their backpacks on. Then they slowly walked to the old wooden house. Sylvia, I want to go in the house. Why? Aren't we supposed to be hiking out in the clean air, not in houses? Well, yes, but in the woods, there are lots of interesting things. I like to explore interesting things. I'm not sure. Come on, let's go into the house. George suggested again. Finally, Sylvia agreed. Sylvia and George took a few steps towards the house. They opened the door and went in. Everything inside the house was very old. No one had lived in it for a very long time. There was dust everywhere. Sylvia, look at this, called George. His voice sounded strange. What? Here, next to the window. Sylvia looked on the floor, in the dust. There were several very large footprints. What do you think these footprints could be? Asked George. I think they're bare footprints, answered Sylvia. A bear, Sylvia? There aren't any bears around here. The closest bears are hundreds of miles away. Then I have no idea. Let's get out of here. Suddenly, the two friends heard a noise in the kitchen. Sylvia and George ran to the room. They could not believe their eyes. A big hairy creature was standing in the kitchen. It quickly turned, went out the back door and ran away. The creature made a lot of noise. It even broke the door as it left. George and Sylvia stood still. 
The creature disappeared into the woods. Sylvia couldn't speak. What was that? George asked. They didn't know. And that's it. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts. What do you think of my reading? What do you think of the story? Feel free to share your feedback. See you soon. C'est fini. Merci. Gracias. Danke. Shukran. Shesh. Et And thanks for watching and listening to Lingostar.